I challenge you to read the entire Bible this year. Jesus is King. Welcome to the Meaning of Catholic. This is Timothy Flanders. As always, not all the opinions expressed in this podcast represent all of the contributors at Meaning of Catholic. But here we are again on a Monday before the end of the liturgical year, which restarts on the first Sunday of Advent. And I'm here to promote the Fellowship of St. Anthony and the liturgical annual Bible reader. This is a traditional Catholic Bible reading plan, which is based on the traditional office of Matins. The office of Matins reads through a great deal, a good chunk of the entire Bible every single year. And so what we did is we adapted that, uh, that existing Bible reading plan, which has been prayed by monks for centuries and centuries. And we added all the parts of the Bible that were missing, all the books that were left out. And we have an entire Bible reader. So if you start this plan, it's tied in with the liturgical feasts, the liturgical seasons, and you read through the entire Bible every single year. So, so in Advent, you start with the book of, you go through the book of Isaiah and the book of wisdom and you go through that. And then there is the octave of Christmas in which we read the song of songs and then the tradition during Epiphany Tide is to read the epistles of St. Paul. And that ties in with the fact that Epiphany celebrates the manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles. And so we read the, the, the doctor of the Gentiles, St. Paul. And so this is traditional here. And then we go also through the, the Gospel of St. Mark. And then it's tradition to begin the Torah on Septuagesima. So Septuagesima, one of the pre-Lenten Sundays, so three weeks before, three Sundays before Advent, I'm sorry, three Sundays before Lent begins, you begin reading the Torah, the Pentateuch at that time. So Genesis 1-1, you begin at Septuagesima, and that begins the, the, the whole Pentateuch going through af also after the Pentateuch into Joshua, or as we say, Jesus, son of noon, uh, it's from Joshua into Judges. And then at the end of Judges, after Pentecost and Trinity Sunday, you continue into the next, the what, what are traditionally called the prophetic books or the historic books, First Samuel, aka First Kings or First Kingdoms, going through all the way through all this whole period of after Pentecost. And then the rest of the gospel, the gospels are are read, and the rest of the Bible's Bible books are read. And in particular, the Gospel of John is traditionally read during uh, Easter tide. So this is the traditional, the tradition of the mystagogy, the the mystical catechesis that takes place after the neophytes are initiated into baptism at Easter. Then there we read the mystical gospel, which is Saint John's gospel. So all of this is based on a very long standing tradition of reading the Holy Bible through the office of Matins. And so you can join this Bible reading group, but it is challenging because it's not only requires that you read the Holy Bible the whole year through this plan. You also have to do penance because you cannot approach the Holy Scriptures without penance. This is one of the most fatal mistakes in the history of the church. And this is what I talk about in my book, Introduction to the Holy Bible, A Beginner's Guide to Reading the Scriptures for Spiritual Profit. One of the most fatal mistakes in the history of the church is that the office of a theologian was corrupted from an office of a man of prayer who reads the Holy Scriptures as the fire from heaven on his knees to a false theologian who reads the Holy Scripture merely as an academic. And he does not approach this as literally fire from heaven. And so he gets burned because he reads this sacred text without penance and without prayer. And so in order to join the Bible reading group, you have to join our guild, 
and our penance sodality. So you have to take on for yourself penance. Our penance rule in Advent is not severe. It's doable, but it's beyond, it's above, it's above and beyond what is required, what is normally required in Advent. So there are abstinence rules, and you can click on the link below for all the rules. Now, in addition to this Bible reading plan, you also have to adopt a, a Psalter prayer plan. And there's three different versions of this. There's a, an advanced version where you, you go through the entire Psalter, you pray the entire Psalter once a week. That's what monks do, the traditional monks do. There's also a monthly plan where you read the entire Psalter once a month. And then there's the easiest plan, which is reading one Psalm per day, which you can get through the entire Psalter twice in one year by doing that. So you have to take on penance. You have to join the guild. The guild requires some financial contribution. Now, if, if you join the guild, you do get a copy of the book for free in PDF. So we can give you a copy of the book for free if you join the guild. Now, if you can't afford the guild, but you still want to be a part of this group, we can still give you uh, access to the guild. Just contact us, meaningofcatholic.com slash contact, and we can give you free access if you can't afford it. The guild is about supporting one another as Catholics, raising our children in the faith against the Marxists. And so that is the purpose of this financial contribution. And because of the generosity of guild members, we can give free access to those who cannot afford it. But we ask you to contribute what you can. So meaningofcatholic.com slash register, you can join um, the guild. And from there, you can join the Fellowship of St. Anthony, take on to yourself these penance requirements, and enter into this spiritual profit. So go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register to join the guild so that you can join the fellowship and join the annual Bible reading group. With that, I just want to also, we will have an, an additional videos this coming year. So these are all the videos that we've done on all the different books of the Bible. So we've gone through the Pauline epistles, but also every book of the Torah, as well as the book of Jesus, the son of noon, and St. John of the prophet, and some of the exile books, and the book of Revelation. But we have a lot more to do. So we're more videos will be coming this coming year, uh, beginning this Advent, God willing, uh, covering all the different books of the Bible to help you enter into the spiritual prophet. And if you read my book, Introduction to the Holy Bible, there are many reasons for this. It's not for everyone, but there's a great deal of profit for your own soul, for your own family, and for the church entering into a truly Catholic way of prayer of the scriptures that we can offer up to Almighty God a worthy sacrifice. So let's offer all this to Our Lady. In nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu emuliatibus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Mary, Queen of the Home, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, pray for us. Saint Anthony of the Desert, pray for all clergy and seminarians. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Jesus is King. Amen.